Really? Okay. You know, one of these days, this rubber band's gonna come up and hit me. Uh, it's bound to happen. I have to do ab wheel right here. Ooh. No, I like right where you're at, I need to do it. Ooh. I can't do it over there. I can't do it over there. I need to do it right here. That sound okay with you? Just some more casual tripping hazards at the Iron Clinic. That gonna be all right with you if we do that? Okay, good. Good boys. Good morning. Welcome back. Good to see you again. My goodness. Somebody should have built Noah's Ark here, I feel like, in the last week. Crazy rainstorms, thunderstorms, tornadoes in the last 24 hours. Thankfully, it uh, looks like everyone's okay. I haven't heard of any actual tornado touchdowns, but man, these last literal 24 hours and, and then some were uh, quite worrying. That's for sure. We had some rainstorms yesterday, during the workout even, and actually right after I turned the camera off uh, yesterday, the rain just started coming down in buckets. I ended up staying in the gym for probably five to 10, maybe even 15 at most, but probably about 10 more minutes just to kind of wait out this torrential downpour that came as soon as I turned that camera off. So did a couple extra sets of abs, not the end of the world, not that big of a deal. It ended up working out just fine, but man, all day yesterday, just crazy amounts of rain. Thankfully, everything in the gym's okay. You know, we get a little bit of water leaking through the garage doors. It's an older gym and it's got some slopes into it that, uh, you know, really. I don't really stop that rain from coming in here, but nothing, nothing too crazy. It just kind of puddles a little bit over by the uh, door. Barely anything really though, just a little bit of a wet concrete. We've got a pool day today. We've got a pool day. We're gonna be hitting our back and biceps nice and hard, and I'm looking forward to it. This current workout split has us only doing one back and biceps day a week, which is fine, but it's just, you know, it feels unbalanced sometimes, but that's what we've got to do to make sure that we're able to get the volume in both our legs, and then of course in our chest and shoulders as well. The downside to that though is that I feel like we've been neglecting our biceps a little bit. Not entirely. You know, I've talked about before making sure that we do some kind of an arm day on the weekends when we have that free time. And we need to make an effort, a bigger effort, to make sure we're hitting that. We didn't get to do it last weekend just due to the nature of how busy we were. We had plans outside of the gym that required our attention and our focus and our energy. So we weren't able to get in here as we had intended to do that arm workout, unfortunately. And that's okay, it's not the end of the world. With that in mind though, I really wanna make a focus on doing it this week as long as everything works out as I'm intending from a scheduling standpoint. And then today, while we're in here, I wanna make sure that we're really hammering home those biceps. I think they can take quite a bit of heat today. Based on what we did last week, uh, it looks like everything went very well with the bicep exercises we did. And as you can see from today's workout plan, we're not changing out any of the exercises at all. We're still gonna be starting off with those chest supported rows and we're gonna be ending with those dumbbell one-armed concentration curls. Now, the one-armed concentration curls were fantastic. They're only for eight reps though, and they're supposed to be a little bit heavier. So those in particular, I wanna make sure we're really, really, really hammering home. Last week, I know the weight was good. I know we even had to help on those last that last rep or two. So last week, I know that the weight itself was actually just fine. We were able to hit all the reps. We were able to really achieve everything we wanted to, especially with those dumbbell one-arm concentration curls and the hammer curls, I even wrote a note in there, like these were amazing, really loved the progression of those. We started out at about 40 pounds, which is where we're gonna start today. And then we, we kind of lowered the weight as we went. And then the one arm concentration curls also were just fine, just fine. But maybe we weren't challenged enough on those dumbbell one arm concentration curls. Today, for both of those exercises, we're gonna be lowering the rest periods down again. So we're gonna be starting with a 30 second rest period. And as we get more fatigued through those, we'll work our way up to a minute and a half long rest period, but we're gonna be taking them super short there for at least that first set and really, really hammering the biceps to make sure that they don't get too much of a break, but they get enough of a break that they can complete the next set no matter how hard it might be. So let's get after it. Let's get set up over here for our chest supported cable rows. We're gonna get that bench in there. Really been loving those. And we're gonna be increasing the weight, increasing the weight on that in our landmine one arm barbell rows, which I think means we're in for a pretty damn good time. Uh, it's certainly gonna be a tough one, that's for sure. Let's get set up and I'll see you over there. All right, one more warm up here. Good. 
All right, we're all set up here, all warmed up, I think. I think we're pretty well warmed up. So let's get after this. We've got 200 keyed up on the cable here, just like we intended. We did 190 last week, and we actually, I was looking at my notes, we cranked out some extra reps last week on almost all the sets. We were doing sets of 10 um, for two of the three. And I think that was on accident, but obviously we, we cranked it out just fine. So I'm feeling pretty confident about this 200. If it goes well on this first set, we may well even crank it up even higher, a little bit more at least. Uh, you know, cranking out reps to 10 was certainly more than we intended last week. So in some ways, doing 200 is gonna basically be what we did last week, where we were doing 190 for sets of 10. This week, we're gonna be doing 200 for sets of eight. You know, false equivalencies, whatever. It's not a direct correlation, but if we're able to do a little bit more here, we're gonna do a little bit more. We wanna push that envelope as much as we can, because next week, we're gonna be dropping the overall volume back down. Let's get after it. Yeah, good, very good. Do I want to bring it up? I kind of do, but I don't want to go a ton. I really don't. I still want to make sure we're able to get that full range of motion, and I'm worried that we're right on that line there, being able to actually get the full range of motion. So. Let, let's take it up five pounds. Let's see what happens. That sound okay with you? That gonna be all right with you if we do that? Okay, good. Really? Okay. Oh my goodness. So much to say today. All right, set number two. Pumped up to 205. Let's see what we can make happen here. Oh yeah, good. Okay, that's exactly where we want it to be. That's tough, tough, but we can do one more of those. Alrighty, third and final set. That last one was very tough, but doable. I gotta focus on making sure those elbows come all the way back. We're pulling it all the way back. Ugh. Think about pulling those elbows in. Good. Yes. Very happy with that. Loving it. All right. This week, we're changing it up. We're going to use the grizzly handle. I don't know why, but I want to change it up a little bit. I want to see which one I like more. I liked using those little orange handles. My only problem, though, was that I felt like towards the end, my grip started to fail, not from literally me being able to hold on to it, but it was like just digging into my hand weird, causing a loss of concentration and ultimately not letting me able to focus on that contraction overall. So I'm gonna try the grizzly handle. This is gonna change the movement a little bit because we're now gonna be in front of the weight. The weight's gonna be behind us slightly, but I wanna do it with my, with my wrist wraps here, with my grips, see if that's gonna enable me to get the best contraction possible out of this or if it just changes it up too much if it does, I'll just move back here on the barbell itself and grab the barbell with my grips. That's not the end of the world either. So let's try this first set at least with the grizzly handles, see where it takes us. Yeah. Good, okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. No, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. We're going to keep doing that. All right, that one was pretty easy. I'm gonna up this by 15 more pounds. We're gonna go to 115 here. Okay, set number two. Let's do it. Same thing, 12 reps. Increase that weight. I think we're gonna be okay though. We're going for RPE 10, so we want this to be tough. Almost impossible. <sighs> Almost. But it's doable. <sighs> Yes, 
yes, yes, yes, amazing. Loving it. My goodness, we can't overstate how nice it is to be in here with it being warm. There is nothing worse than working out in a cold gym, that's for sure. Being hot, we can deal with that any day of the week. Turn a fan on, it's no big deal. Being cold though, it can get so cold in the winter that it's like, it's hard to work out from how cold the steel and the metal gets in here. It's really tough, really tough. All right, last set here. We're gonna crank out our 12 and we're gonna do a drop set again. So if you remember last week, we do our 12 reps. We're gonna take off, uh, for this, we're probably just gonna take off the 25 that's on the end here, the two tens and the five. Throw those off, crank out as many more reps as we can, and then do the other side. Whew, total failure. Let's get after it. these off. Good. And more. Let's go. Oh, that's it. Woo. Oh my goodness. Next side. Wow. That was a good pull, man. That second set, really controlling it, squeezing it, taking it slow, felt fantastic. Left side now. Good. Here we go. Oh, that's it. Oh. Uh. All right, we're happy with that. Wow, is that a good one? Whew. All right, green band set up here. One minute queued up on the timer. We're taking these pull ups to failure. We're gonna start with this green band. Hopefully we don't need, uh, hopefully we can do two sets with this this time. We were only able to do one and we had to move, you got a leaf in your hair. And then we had to move over to the heavy orange band uh, to, to finish out the rest of those. So I'd really like to do two sets with this green band, two good sets. You know, I don't want that second set to only be like three, four, five, six reps. I'd love to get closer and over even that 10 rep range, closer to that 12, even 15. We'll see what happens here. Okay, let's do this. You know, one of these days, this rubber band's gonna come up and hit me. Uh, it's bound to happen. Whew, okay. Very nice. Right on 15 there. I think we may have been able to do one more rep, but that was, I'm happy with that. One minute, and we're gonna do it again. We're keeping the band. All right, I just checked. We were able to do two sets with this green band this time, so I don't even remember how many reps we did, but we're gonna beat it. We're gonna beat how many reps we did last week on this second set here. Those felt strong. Those felt good. We got it in us. Okay, number two, let's get up there. Oh yeah, okay. All right, whew, okay. I, uh, we're gonna keep the green band. I'm gonna keep it. This next set might get a little ugly, but I think we're gonna be all right, I do. Actually, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rig up a second green band. I don't know that I'll actually be able to get my foot in it when I need to, but we'll try. We'll certainly try. So once we really start to struggle with just one foot in a band, if I can get my other foot up into this, we'll, we'll try to do it. We'll try to do it. That's probably gonna be a colossal failure and I'm just gonna look like a goofball, but we'll try. Okay, let's start with one. Let's see, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my leg up that high. 
My foot, rather. We'll see. No, not a chance. Okay. Okay, there's eight. Let's get our other foot in. Come on. There we go. Eight. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we got what we could out of that. Shoo. Happy with that. That'll work. Total failure there. Total failure. Literally couldn't come up. Now, if we hadn't gone all the way to a dead hang, I think we probably could have cranked out another rep or two, uh, but that is what it is. All right, we got some uh, reverse flies. Let's grab our dumbbells, get the chest pad up, and start doing some of those. Just some more casual tripping hazards at the Iron Clinic. At the Iron Clinic, there's nothing more than we love than a casual tripping hazard, but only if they're furry. All right, we got 30 for 30 here. 30 pounds, 30 wraps on these rear out flies. Let's see what we can make happen. Pardon me, casual tripping hazard number two. Watch out. Good, two minutes. Wow, her adults are just, they're something. All right, set number two. Man, those were adults. It's so easy, people, to take these too high and then involve your traps too much in these rear adults, in these rear adult exercises. Don't do that. Don't go so high that your traps start taking over and lifting these things up, especially when we're supporting our chest. Let those delts work. Let them work. Uh, let's do it. Come on. Come on, eight more. Oh my gosh, that's it. Okay. We're gonna take this last set down. So 25. Those were, uh, wow, wow tough. Too tough beyond our PE 10 for sure. And I wanna make sure we get some quality reps in here on this last set of these. All right, we got one more set of these. We're taking these bad boys down to 25. And uh, I think we're gonna be able to actually hit all of our reps with this. At the very least, we're gonna be able to have better form overall, which will make this feel much more solid, much more accomplished. And uh, keep that ROM and overall form good. Not sloppy for all these reps. If we get sloppy in the last few, that's okay. That's fatigue. But we don't want them all to be sloppy. Let's go. 30 more. Come on. Okay. Gosh, 
Uh, wow. All right, we've got our timer set up here for 30 seconds. That's where we're gonna be starting these. We're gonna be starting at the same weight we did last week, which is 40 pounds. And in between each of these sets, we're gonna be taking, to start with at least 30 second breaks. That's not a lot of time, people. That is not a lot of time. So if we've got to increase it between sets, we will. But that first set, we're gonna do 30 seconds and we're never gonna do more than a minute and a half here. Now we're only doing three sets. So we may do just 30 seconds in between the first two. We might go all the way up to a minute and 30 on the second one, depending on how we're feeling. But we're gonna to try to keep it as low as possible to really just keep the stress and the strain on those muscles to really work our way through these sets and get absolutely everything out of these we can and leave nothing on the table for our biceps. Like I said, I don't feel like we've actually been hammering those biceps hard enough. And this is how we're gonna do it a little bit harder. We're gonna reduce that rest period down, keep the weight the same, and see what kind of magic can happen. Let's get after it. 10, and then five partials. Five flow partials. Oh, good. Okay, 30 seconds. Again, not a lot of time. That's okay. I'm gonna make the most of it. Let them rest. Let them rest. They need that. There's a time and place for back-to-back -back supersets. Can't do that at every time though. Can't do it at every exercise. We're just not gonna get maximal amounts of volume out of everything and really treat our muscles to the work that they deserve and that they need in order to grow effectively and efficiently. Three seconds. Let's do it. Set number two. Feeling all right at the moment. We'll see how that feels here in about, about 30 seconds. <sighs> Come on. Okay, partials. Nope, nothing. We gotta reduce that down. Let's do what we can here. That's it. Okay. Okay, we're going up to a minute on this one. One minute. And we're gonna reduce this down. We're gonna go to 25 on this last set to really make sure we can get everything out of this that's there for us to earn and achieve. Here we go. 25 to keep up. Let's do our 10 full reps and our five partials. Come on. Oh yeah. Uh, 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 how about five parcels? Uh, uh, oh my God. Uh, 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 oh gosh. Uh, oh. Wow. That is it. Holy cow. All right. Let's, uh, let's get set up for some concentration curls. And by set up, I mean, let's get behind this bench and do some concentration curls. All right, starting at the same place here. 30 second rests. That's what we're gonna be starting with. No more than that. Sets of eight here. These are gonna be probably a bit tougher. Those hammer curls were hard, man. Really hard. So let's see what we can do with these, guys. Yeah. <sighs> Good, 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 good. That felt nice. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. 
Now, uh, we're feeling, feeling pretty good, and I have a feeling that's going to change here in about 28 seconds. That's uh, not a lot of rest. <laughs> and after those ammo curls, we learned pretty damn quickly how little rest 30 seconds actually is. Okay, here we go. Eight more. Eight more. Now, these are one arm, so we get a little bit of extra rest in between because we're only doing one at a time. So you get that extra rest that was occurring when the other one was doing sets. Uh, 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 yep. But it's still not a lot. <sighs> okay. Uh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that was hard. That was really tough. We're gonna do 30 seconds again now. Oh boy. All right, one more, one more set. Then we gotta have work. Come on, nine seconds. Okay, last one. If we gotta assist, if we gotta use our other hand to help get this weight up, we'll do it. Come on, let's go. Nice and deep. Eight. Oh, barely. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That was intense. Right, number two. Yep. Oh, wow, holy cow. <sighs> All right, y'all, this is what we got for today. We gotta do some ab wheel and then some hanging leg races to wrap this up. So we're gonna finish those up and this is where I'll bid you farewell. Thanks for being here. It's good to see you again. It's a good workout. Good, good, good back day, great bicep day and uh, just an overall fantastic workout. Feeling great, feeling strong. Feeling solid. So let's wrap it up that way. Let's have a day that reflects the workout we had, huh? And if you had a bad workout, well, guess what? That means you have the opportunity to improve your day. You can only go up from here. One of the best things about working out in the morning is that most often we're getting the hardest thing out of the way first thing in the day. There are plenty of obstacles that we're gonna face ahead of us that could be a lot harder, but you started the day out by dragging yourself out of bed, getting into that gym and doing something exceptional, something hard and you know what? I'll say it. Puts us a cut above the rest. It doesn't make us better than people. It really doesn't. But it allows us to at least feel that pride, that sense of achievement that comes from doing something so difficult first thing in the morning, like ignoring our dogs for a workout. <laughs> so difficult. So difficult. You have anything to say? Nothing? You just want to sit here? on me. All right, everybody. We'll see you all next time. Thanks again for being here. I'm gonna get these ab wheels done, destroy these abs, and probably uh, super set it with some dog pets. I'll see you next time.